a quick video on how to use your uh, time tracks uh, B amplifier a lot of people think that you have to have it connected to metal as you can see I'm gonna have to stand on this little stool to get up to that clock and the finial on that clock is on top of the clock but I'm not worried about it but as you can see I have the B amplifier connected to one of the lower finials and I turn it on and you can hear the clock is in beat so again you do not have to connect it to metal you can connect it to uh, any place that you can put this clamp on and again you can hear it ticking away but I was just wanting to set this clock this is a clock that I bought on my way to uh, Nixa, I stopped off at a uh, an antique uh, flea market, and I bought this clock for around forty-five dollars. So you can find really good deals. It's got the raised um, porcelain, I guess, uh, numbers. It's a French clock. I got a video on this clock with me repairing it. Uh, again, the finial came off. It's up there somewhere. But I'm not worried about that finial. So that's why you want one of these time tracks B amplifiers, Model 60. The other B amplifier that I had, you couldn't hear it. Uh, that well it was me having to wear hearing aids but my friend Ron bought this thing for me for Christmas but we are like that I buy him stuff he buys me stuff or gives me stuff and so uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's free to do so and uh, I will leave links at the end of this video to some um, 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 YouTube video channels that I want you to support, such as Torsion Dell, who shows you how to put anniversary clocks in beat. He shows you how to work on them. Um, most anniversary clocks are not that hard to work on the hardest part about the anniversary clock is creating the suspension leader wire so I'm going to leave a YouTube channel link to uh, his YouTube channel uh, please support him by uh, clicking the subscribe button uh, I'm going to leave a link to uh, just Mike um, Mike, Michael Anderson, is a really good guy who can fix almost any clock that he comes across. He does a really good job at, um, at, um, at fixing clocks. In the description of this video, I'm going to leave a, a few more YouTube channels that I would like for you to support. One is Matthew Reed's uh, YouTube channel. Matthew lives over in the UK along with Torsion Dell, Derek. Um, but Matthew Reed does a wonderful job at repairing clocks and pocket watches. Um, uh, Scotty's Clock World. Uh, Scott Johnson, he 
is getting in the cuckoo clocks and he's doing a really good job at uh, learning how to repair cuckoo clocks but the man does a phenomenal job at repairing antique American clocks with the um, what I call um, what I call um, uh, uh, exposed movements the the uh, front and rear plates are not like your German and English and French clocks they they have cut out versions unfortunately I don't have a uh, uh, American clock movement available but a clock like this a Seth Thomas clock it has uh, a cutout version of the uh, front and rear plates and I was told when I was stationed over in England by a really good clock friend of mine the reason why brass was expensive to uh, to American so uh, they used as little brass as they could at the time and I do have a, a movement and I just looked at it just seen it so stand by and I'll show it to you this is one of those type of movements as you can see you can see almost every one of the the gears and wheels uh, in this movement it's American clock and um, Scott Johnson does a really good job at explaining how to uh, work on one of these things how to put the levers in place um, he does other clocks too but I really like how he explains the American movements this is my late 1800s Alexander Fleeg uh, cuckoo clock the biggest cuckoo clock that I have and I'm gonna leave a link to Seth Linkfelter's uh, YouTube video channel where he designs clock shirts he also does professional YouTube videos a lot more professional than my YouTube videos but uh, please uh, check out his channel at least hit the subscribe button even if you don't contact him to create you a a, a, a shirt but this is uh, one of the uh, uh, clocks that he created a shirt for me he created two different designs uh, with my inputs one says not for sale it's my children's inheritance and then for my children's shirts it says not for sale it's my inheritance this was one of the clocks and this is the other clock this is a, a 1908 a George Cool uh, cuckoo clock he created a shirt for me on this clock and by the way Steve uh, Fowler is the one that uh, repaired all the woodwork on this clock and the other clock I showed you he made this topper he made this bottom piece here and unfortunately my light sucks but hopefully you can see it right there underneath the hands it says made in Germany cool clock company Chicago Illinois in 1908 and earlier is the only time frame that they marked their clocks like that so this clock was made in 1908 or earlier getting back to this clock Steve Fowler created these antlers for me he also repaired the clock it was broken he uh, had to uh, make one of these legs I believe an ear on the uh, rabbit but if you were to go out in the woods and see this laying on the ground you would think that it was an antler that a deer lost my neighbor came over and he hunts deer every year and he saw those antlers and he thought that they were real so uh 
contact Steve Fowler. You can find him in my groups. You can find him on Facebook. Uh, if you have a clock that needs woodwork, now he doesn't do uh, um, lathe work, but he does carvings. And so if you have a clock that needs woodwork, needs antlers, he is a professional at what he does. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, YouTube video. As you can see, all my clocks in my house are not working. And that's because my back has hurt me a lot lately. And I haven't felt like messing with clocks. I haven't felt like doing a YouTube video. But my back is hurting me right now. But I just felt like uh, winding that French clock. Just take you around my room showing you some of the clocks. Couple clocks right down there that uh, Ron Rosencrantz gave me. This is a clock I paid like $20, $25 for. It was made in Japan. Beautiful clock. I got a YouTube video on that, repairing that. But anyway, I have lots of clocks. Here's a clock right here. It's extremely rare. Um, I've only seen maybe a half a dozen since uh, being the admin for my uh, clock group. But it has a uh, thermometer and a barometer. And uh, I bought this clock back when I was still working. And uh, I wanted the pictures with the clock that the owner had. And here's the pictures. And the pictures alone give you a little bit of history because this was back when uh, <laughs> they had cameras that you had to take them to get developed or you had a camera uh, like a Kodak instant camera. You took a picture and the, uh, the, the picture automatically developed. And this is me over in England catching pike. Anyway, I hope y'all like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And may God bless each and every one of you.